Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. In today's video, I'm going to be making some delicious cheese enchiladas, Tex-Mex style. Now this is the way I had them growing up and I'm going to share my recipe with you. Now good enchiladas start with a good sauce and I'm going to take you through it step by step. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using my cast iron skillet and I've got my heat set just a little bit below medium. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of cooking oil. Now the reason I'm doing that is because the oil makes it easier for me to whisk and the butter gives me the good flavor. But you can use all oil or you can use all butter. Now I'm going to put in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now the reason why I'm making a roux first is because the roux is your thickening agent. Now take your time when you're whisking it because you want your flour to cook. You don't want to use raw flour when you're making your enchilada sauce. As it cooks and it turns colors into a nice light golden brown, it's going to get a real nice nutty flavor. And that's what adds to your sauce. So you don't want to just start dumping everything in there. You want to take your time and you want to wait. So I just continue whisking it like this and slowly you're going to start seeing it changing colors. Now as you can see, our flour has gotten to a nice golden color. Now I'm ready for my chili powder. Now I'm going to be posting all the ingredients and amounts on the screen and below in the description box so you'll know exactly what I'm putting in here and how much, okay? Now I'm going to add my paprika. And I'm going to stir them together like this. Now my onion powder. Continue stirring non-stop. Now my garlic powder, just like that. Now my cumin. It's all getting nice and toasty, see? It's like when you toast your dry chiles, so they can, so it can bring out the flavor. It's the same thing here. So now I'm going to add my oregano. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my chicken broth. Just like that. And I'm going to continue whisking. I'll add a little bit more. And continue whisking. Now I've got some tomato paste right here. I like putting in tomato paste because it gives it a really nice, rich flavor in there. And I'm going to continue whisking it like this. And you have to be patient when you're doing this because you want to make sure that all the seasoning that you're putting in is releasing its flavor in with the heat of your skillet. So now I'm going to add more of my chicken broth. And you want to continue whisking it until you break up all those little clumps. Now I've got a little bit of chicken bouillon. I'm going to go ahead and add it in there. You can add as much as you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar. Just like that. Now your sugar is going to balance out the flavor of your chili powder and your paprika in there. I'm going to add the rest of my chicken broth, like that. And I'm going to continue whisking this until it comes up to a very low bubble. Now, as you can see, it's starting to bubble really, really low. So I'm going to lower my temperature all the way down, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and place my lid because I don't want the steam to escape. And I'm going to let it simmer on the lowest setting. 
But every minute or so, I'm going to come and I'm going to whisk it up a little bit so that that skin doesn't form on top. So in this small skillet, I've got about half a cup of vegetable oil. I'm going to go ahead and run my tortillas in through it. Now, some of you may want to put them in the microwave or just warm them up up here. It's not the same. When you put them in through the oil, it gives it a totally different taste. So I'm going to put them in like this until they bubble up. See those little bubbles? And then I'm going to take it out. Just like that. And I'm going to do another one. Just until you see the bubbles. Just like that. Now, if you take them out a lot sooner and if your oil is not that hot, they could tear on you. So that's why I like to do it with our oil nice and hot. And I just wait for the little bubbles to form like that. And then I take it out. And your tortillas will not tear like that. At least mine don't. Now I'm going to continue doing this with all my tortillas. Now I've got my tortillas already done. I'm just going to go ahead and whisk this up a little bit. See? This would be a good time for you to taste it. And adjust the salt. I think mine is perfect. But, mmm, it's delicious. I'm going to be putting in some cheese, you know, when I roll them up. And the cheese is salty. So you want to make sure that you taste it here and do your adjusting. But remember that you're going to put your cheese in there so you don't want to overdo it with your salt. And you see how it doesn't get that skin on top? Because every minute or so I come in here and I give it a nice little whisk like that. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the lid. And I'm going to let it continue simmering on super low like that while I get my things ready to start rolling our enchiladas. So I'm going to be using American cheese. As you can see, I've got it in a nice little block like this. I go to the deli at the grocery store and I just ask them to give me three-fourths of a pound or half a pound. Just depends how many enchiladas you're going to make. Now, I like American cheese because this is what my mom always used when she made enchiladas and I like them. But you can use cheddar, any type of cheese that you like. So I'm going to go ahead and shred this cheese just like this. So now I'm ready to roll. So I've got everything ready here for my enchiladas. Now, as you can see, I went ahead and patted dry all the tortillas and removed all the oil, but they're still real nice and soft. So I'm going to put some of this enchilada sauce on the bottom of my dish, just like this. And just run it through, just like that. Now I'm going to get my tortillas and pass them in through my sauce like this. I'm going to put in my cheese. And I'm going to put in some diced onions like this. We like the onions in here, but you can leave them out if you want. Then I'm going to roll it over like this. And I'm going to bring them over and set them right here in my dish. Pass them through my sauce like this. Add some of the grated cheese. Put in some of my diced onions like this. Roll it over. And then pick them up like this from the sides. And put it into my dish. Now I like to give it just a little bit of room in between. Just a little bit. And this way it'll be easier to pick up, you know, when you're going to serve them. And now, as you can see, these enchiladas look nice and fat, but they're going to go down when they melt because the cheese still has to melt. And I'm going to continue rolling until I have them all filled here. So this is my last one right here. I had two extra, so I'm going to put them into this dish just like that. See? That. Now I like to make sure that they get real nice and covered like this. See? And I've got some of my grated cheese. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this cheese on top. And I'm going to put some more of the onions on top. You know your onions are optional. You don't have to use them if you don't like them. I just think it gives the enchiladas a delicious taste. Just like that. I've got a piece of aluminum foil. 
I'm going to go ahead and cover them. Now I've got my oven set at 375 degrees. I'm just going to put them in there for about 15 minutes or so, just until your cheese is nice and melted. Ooh, my enchiladas just came out of the oven. So traditionally, we always have rice and beans, you know, but you can side them with anything that you want. Oh, man. Look at how pretty these look. Mm. See? Now I went ahead and made some pico de gallo. So I like to put some of my pico de gallo on top like this. See? See how cheesy they are. Mm. Look at this. With a little bit of rice. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so delicious. They remind me of when I was growing up. This is exactly the way my mom would make them. Mmm. Then a little bit of beans, a little bit of rice. Mmm. Unbelievable. Super, super, I give them a 10. Now, if you like my video, don't just like it, but press that little thumb going up, okay? I would appreciate that. Share with your friends. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.